Now, churches and businesses are supposed to require and enforce mask use, but as CBS 17's Amy Cutler found out, some don't. She's live at Beacon Baptist Church in Raleigh. And Amy, how does it work there? 100 times. Well, Angela, the pastor here just encourages those attending the service to wear a mask. They are not required to enter the building. He acknowledges some might not feel comfortable with that, but he tells me they can watch the service online. We have the right to assemble and to worship. Pastor Tim Rabin and his congregation, Beacon Baptist Church, have been doing that every Sunday and Wednesday, even in this pandemic. We sit in every other seat. We also encourage our folks to social distance. Uh, we're requiring masks on all of our ushers and our greeters. So what happens if somebody comes in and they don't want to wear a mask? We really don't do anything. We don't require a mask. The pastor pointing out they have rows reserved for those wearing masks, several in the front and on the side, but he tells me they're not in high demand. We have seen some larger churches become super spreader events. What would you say to those parishioners that might have concerns regarding that policy? I, I think uh, what I've said to them already is we're trying to do the best we can. There's multiple opinions on masks. It's not hard to find people going into businesses without that face covering. Our camera rolled on the entrance to this Lowe's off Capitol Boulevard for about 45 minutes. In that time, four people went in with no mask, walking right by a sign saying it was required. I don't know that it really makes sense to, to be able to, uh, to have staff dedicated to that. People should definitely keep their mask up. Now, Lowe's responding to my request for comment writing, we will not ask our associates to put their safety at risk by confronting customers about wearing masks. So we are consistently requesting that customers wear masks for the safety of everyone in our stores. A request, they say, that is not enforced. Live in Raleigh, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.